Hey Tech fans, welcome to another edition of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. I'm your host, Kyle Tate. Tune in to RamblinRec.com each week on Monday and Thursday for a quick look around all Georgia Tech sports in five minutes or less. Well, two weeks of ACC Championship Swim and Dive action is in the books, and it was a great showing for the Georgia Tech men's team this past week. The biggest finish of the week came on the final day of competition when Anton Lagervis placed third in the 200 breast as a freshman. The weekend also saw the 400 freestyle relay team of Eric Chu, Sully Lynch, Nigel Plummer, and Garrett Robertson put up the second fastest time in school history, good for a sixth place finish at the meet. Earlier in the meet, senior Sully Lynch set a career-best 50 freestyle mark, touching the wall in 19.76 seconds, good for an NCAA B qualifying time. Behind these impressive finishes, Georgia Tech completed the weekend in seventh place in the conference championships. Georgia Tech baseball earned another series victory, their second straight this past weekend, dropping St. John's on Friday and Saturday by scores of 13 to nothing and 5 to nothing, before falling on Sunday 13 to 3. Matt Skull was a star at the plate on the weekend, going 9 of 14 with a home run, two doubles, four runs scored, and seven runs driven in. In addition, Jed Bradley was fantastic on the mound in his Saturday start, pitching seven innings of no hit ball in Tech's combined two hit shutout on Saturday. Next up, the Jackets welcome Georgia State to Russ Chandler Stadium for a single midweek game this Wednesday at 4 p.m. Georgia Tech softball had the weekend off. They are back on the diamond on Tuesday for a 5 p.m. matchup at Georgia State. The game will be the final one in a 12-game road stretch to start the season. You can catch the Jackets at home on Wednesday at 5 p.m. against Niagara. That's the first time they'll play at Mewbourne Field in 2011. Again, that's Tuesday at 5 at Georgia State and Wednesday at 5 against Niagara at home. In women's basketball, Georgia Tech went 1-1 one one over the weekend. On Thursday night, they picked up a huge win on the road at North Carolina, downing the number 13 Tar Heels 64-57. It was the first time since the 90-91 season that Georgia Tech swept North Carolina during the regular season. Unfortunately, Tech couldn't complete the unbeaten weekend, though, falling at home on Sunday to Miami 70-59. On senior night, Tech's Alex Montgomery had 13 points and 11 rebounds, the 19th double-double of her career. Senior Deja Foster finished her career by posting a 9.4 rebound effort in the loss. Freshman Ty Marshall added 15 for the Jackets. Finishing at 9-5 and five in the conference, Georgia Tech earns the 5 seed in the ACC tournament and will face the 12th seeded Virginia Tech Hokies at 11 a.m. on Thursday to open the conference tournament. The game will be televised on Fox Sports South in Atlanta. Over on the men's side, it was another tough road loss for Tech on Saturday, losing to NC State 79-74. The Jackets closed within three points late in the game, but were unable to come out on top. The loss puts Tech at 0-10 on the road this season. Overall in the year, they are 11-17 with a 3-11 conference mark. There are two games remaining in the regular season, Thursday at Wake Forest and Sunday versus Miami at home. Sunday's game will be the final contest at Alexander Memorial Coliseum. Following the season, the Coliseum will be heavily renovated and will be known as the Hank McCamish Pavilion. It will open in 2012. For more information on the new basketball facility, check out RamblinRec.com. The 15th-ranked women's tennis team fell to open conference play this past weekend, dropping a 5-2 contest to number 20 Florida State. Tech's two points came from singles wins by junior Jillian O'Neill and senior Sasha Krupina. The loss put the Jackets at 5-4 overall on the year and 0-1 in the ACC. Tech continues conference play on Wednesday, hitting the road to Clemson for a 2 p.m. first serve. Finally, track and field finished up the conference portion of the indoor season this past weekend at the ACC Championships. Antonio McKay Jr. won the 400-meter dash prelims with a time of 47.42. Additionally, Sean Roberts finished second in the 800-meter run with a time of 1 minute and 50.64 seconds. Meanwhile, on the women's side, Leslie Njoku posted a 60-meter hurdles time of 8.30 seconds, the 25th fastest time in the country. The men's team finished in 11th, with the women's team placing 12th in the conference. Competition. That's all for now, but join us next time on This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. For more information or for tickets to any Georgia Tech event, you know you can always visit the official website of the Yellow Jackets. That's www.ramblinrec.com. Until our next episode, I'm Kyle Tate saying so long, and we'll talk to you again on Thursday.